Firstly, check this out. MJ Forms of the no NBA way. Finals. The Charlotte Hornets have been patient. They have endured. And they have prevailed with a 3-1 to one series lead. Their sides are locked. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Caleb2K, and I'm back with a brand new episode of the Charlotte Hornets franchise, Dynasty, whatever you want to call it. Man, we are one win away from the NBA Finals. We have the chance to win it on our home court against Victor Wimbayama, Zion Williamson, and the New Orleans Pelicans. But before I get into all that, y'all boys already know the drill, man. If you are new to the channel, whoa, hold up. I, I got my order all fucked up. My fault, y'all. If you like the video, then like the video so that I know that you liked it, nigga. It only makes sense. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. We're trying to get 1,050 subscribers. We are 14 away, 16 away, my fault. I can't count. We are currently at 1,034. So go on ahead and hit that sub button if you have not already. Because we are on the road to that big 2,000. But let's get into this game. You see Zion and Vic both trying not to go home just yet. Unless it's for game six. But Jordan Walsh and Jimmy Butler, they want that ring. LaMelo want that ring. Herb Jones shooting the three in the corner. That's That was not the corner. I cannot fucking, I don't even know. I, I'm blind. But Wimby gets the board and he puts it up. Jordan Walsh now with the ball. Look at this ball movement. Look at off ball LaMelo. We don't run plays like this very often for this man. Green Bean, LaMelo knocking down that mid-range J. LaMelo has not played a lot of off ball throughout, throughout the finals, I'll say. He's had the ball in his hands damn near every single play. But it is what it is because LaMelo be cooking. Luke Kennard pulls that three right there. And now we cut the lead to three. But the Pelicans, man, Dyson Daniels, this man has been giving us problems. Win or lose, he has been very consistent. Knocking down threes, getting stops, making the right plays. Just like, I don't know. I don't watch Dyson Daniels, so I don't I don't know if he does this in real life. But, I mean, I, I hope so. I don't, I don't watch the Pelicans, bro, because that nigga Zion don't even play for real. So, any Pelicans fans, if y'all exist, like... Send me, like, comment down below, like, what D that nigga Dyson Daniels hoop like, bro. Like, <laughs> that's random as fuck. I don't know. I don't care. But look at LaMelo step back three green bean. And he told he told his own LaMelo, that's, those are your fans, nigga. They're Why are you telling them to? Oh, my God. Mark Williams just slammed it down and shut me up. I tried to question LaMelo for for shutting up his own fucking fans. And then Mark Williams just coming to know her like, nah, nigga, shut up. Don't question my nigga, man. But look at Jimmy Butler getting the and one, giving us the lead. But Victor Wimba Yama wide open for three. This dude is a cheat code, man. You cannot leave him open. You cannot get him. You cannot get him. him get Fuck, I can't talk. You can't give him a one-on-one -on -one in the paint, bro. He goes to the paint, it's an automatic bucket. You leave him open for three, it's an automatic bucket. And Dyson Daniels gives it right back to him, and he knocks that one down. This nigga will not miss a shot, man. Damn. LaMelo, though, off the screen. Boom. He's not going to miss either. LaMelo and Wimby both going back and forth and back and forth. That's what the finals is about. The two best players stepping up. Look at this wild-ass play. And OG and Anobi knocks down the three in the corner. And we got all the momentum, even though we're only up one. But Kayla Foster swings it over to Dyson Daniels. And Dyson Daniels is going to slam it down reverse style. Now Foster finds Wimby. I went for the steal because, nigga, I know if he touches that ball, he's scoring it. So there was no point in me even trying to defend it. Wimby being guarded by LaMelo, you might as well have already gave him the points the second he touched the ball. Like, there's nothing I could do about that. But it's okay because LaMelo's going to drive and get the and one. This man has 19 points, and I know Wimby's got a lot too. Dyson Daniels off the screen throws a lob. 
to Wimbayama, and he is going to get that slam dunk 360 style. But Jordan Walsh is going to rip Dyson Daniels and slam it. Jordan Walsh, I was actually very terrified that that man Wimby was going to smack that shit to the fucking nosebleeds when he did a back scratcher. But somehow, someway, Jordan Walsh does not get blocked. Zion, we sag off on the three, so we gonna, he going to knock down the three. If you sag off, your swag's off. Shout out to the godfather, Chris Move, man. Zion shooting step back. Okay, that's some bullshit because Zion literally said he will never play like Like, Zion does not play that at all. I understand him knocking down a spot of three because, like, nigga, it's the NBA. Everybody can hit threes. Look at Jimmy Butler. But Zion is not shooting no goddamn step back midi, bro. Be fucking for real. Herb Jones wide open in the corner. Gotta play better D than that, man. He's wide open. We can't give up wide open shots like that. But the Pelicans are starting to get momentum. Dyson Daniels looking, finds Wimby. This, oh my God. This nigga just pulled it off of one foot. One foot leaning three. The only nigga I've ever seen shoot that before is fucking Kevin Durant. Jimmy Butler, mid-range pull, bang. I don't know how I made that because that was a red contest. But hey, man. When you're good, 2K just lets you have it sometimes. Dyson Daniels off the screen over to Jackson. Jackson lays it up. Now we are down double digits. You see the Pelicans starting to make some shit happen. Now Dyson over to fucking Jalen Duran. And Duran's going to lay the ball up. And right now this third quarter is all New Orleans with LaMelo on the bench. Now fourth quarter has started and Wimby's back in the game. So you already know it gets bad. But Book Knight driving finds LaMelo off the screen. LaMelo ball went absolutely nuclear in this fourth quarter, man. Hooping his ass off, cooking Kayla Foster and dunking it over Wimbayama and Desumu. He's got 25. He's not playing no games. Zion blocked by Ananobi on the three. Now LaMelo driving all the way. Throws the lob to that boy. Jordan Walsh who's going to catch it and slam it with one hand. Telling the crowd to get loud. He's trying to get some momentum in the building. LaMelo throws another lob to Mark Williams. It's Lob City in Charlotte. And the crowd is losing their mind. Book Knight's got the ball. Book Knight driving in another lob to Mark William, that's three lobs in a row. LaMelo off the screen. Crossover. Looking. Finds Jordan Walsh wide open on the wing. Splash. Jordan Walsh just hit a huge three to cut the lead all the way down to one. We was just down by 14. Now we've got to get a stop. But it's Victor Wimbanyama. He says, no, sir. He's going to get the slam dunk. He has 38 points. Zion's got Jimmy Butler in the post and Jimmy's a great defender but nigga Zion is just as unguardable as Wimby when he gets down low you cannot do anything about this fat ass motherfucker I am not Mariah Mills I cannot stop him Zion Williamson gets the rebound and hits Dyson Daniels on the mid range and he knocks down the jumper right there Dyson Daniels like I said has been getting buckets but guess what LaMelo's been getting more buckets nigga Green Bean knocking down another three pointer now it's a two point game but we have to play some goddamn D. You, bro, we cannot stop this man Wimby, bro. This nigga's not fair. Like, he's not fair, bro. That's like, I shouldn't have to deal with that shit. But LaMelo, spin move, alley. Oh, he did a windmill. He did a windmill. Oh, he did a windmill. He did a windmill. It was so nice. You had to see it twice. OG and Anobi with a windmill alley in the finals. But Zion just dunks over Mark Williams because rim protector takeover is just a prop in this game, I guess. But it's okay. Look at LaMelo finds Jimmy Butler cutting back door. And you know if you're open, LaMelo is going to find you. Desumu, though, driving now. How did that get? Oh, he gets the hand one. How was that not a block? I have no idea how Mark Williams did not smack the fuck out that shit. But they get the M1, and that just killed all the momentum in the building. So we have to make something work, and we have to do it now. Jimmy with the rock. Jimmy calls for the screen. Jimmy looking. Floater. He's off. Rebound. Ananobi. Ananobi foul. And one. OG Ananobi with the hustle play when we needed it the most. He might just get the biggest bucket of his career right here. His free throw. It's up. And it is Green Bean. Now it is a two-point game. We have to get a stop, though. We have to play some defense. Dyson Daniels dribbling. The Pelicans not wasting any time. Just give it straight to Wimby, and he's going to slam it down. 
four point game. I'm literally getting, bro. My ass is fat as hell, bro. I literally am getting out of breath, fucking trying to, trying to fucking speak. Lamelo, why did they help? OG wide open, three, and he knocks it down. OG knocks down the three, and just like that, OG and Anobi having the best moment of his life. We're gonna foul right there. Dyson Daniels going to the line, and Dyson, the first free throw for Dyson Daniels is up and it is good second free throw for dyson daniels it's up and dyson misses the free throw he couldn't say he couldn't handle the pressure and lamello driving and slamming it tying this ball game up he's not wasting any time he wanted that bucket bad and dasumu now dasumu looking with the ball five Four, we all know who's getting it. It's Victor Wimbayama. Two, one, over Mark Williams. In and out. We're going to overtime. This game is going to overtime. We have five more minutes to win the chip. Five more minutes to be a man and bring a championship to Charlotte for the first time ever. James Booker, I have no idea why that nigga was starting the overtime period, but Caleb Foster was getting busy in overtime. Gets that layup to go. Now Dyson Daniels off the screen. Why is my shit frozen? I don't know, so I don't even know what's going on. But I see LaMelo slamming it down. Let's go. All right, there we go. My shit not tripping no more. I don't know what was, I don't know what just happened. But Caleb Foster, like I said, this man, Caleb Foster, is getting busy. That's another layup for him. He's got 18 points. Foster looking, step back, drive. Foster the floater. It's off, but Wimby's going to slam it back in on a tip drill, slamming it down. Now LaMelo off the screen, tween, driving, kicking to Jimmy in the corner for the three. He's going to miss, but Mark Williams getting the board, and we get to reset. LaMelo's got the ball. He's calling for the screen from OG and Anobi. Sidestepping, driving, tween behind the I don't know what this nigga's doing, but Jordan Wall driving. I don't have time. I have to shoot, and it goes in. I'm not going to lie. I'm blessed. I don't know how I was able to hit that, but I don't care. We got the bucket. 50 seconds left. Foster dishes it to Herb Jones. That's a huge three, and he missed. He missed the three. LaMelo's wide open in the corner in transition. Bang! Bang! LaMelo hits the go-ahead three, and we are 39 seconds away from a championship, but we have to play some defense. LaMelo almost still in the inbound pass. Dyson Daniels with the ball. He's looking. Dyson finds Kayla Foster. Foster off the screen. We know who's getting the ball. We know it's going to Wimby. Wimby and one. No. The worst possible situation. He gets an and one. But Wimby at the line. Misses the free throw. And now LaMelo's got the ball. And we're going to hold on to it for the last shot. LaMelo's got it. He calls the ISO. Kayla Foster guarded him. Kayla Foster, the kid from Charlotte, North Carolina, is being guarded by his guarding LaMelo Ball with the championship on the line. Three, two, what the fuck are you doing, LaMelo? He's off, and we don't get the board timeout. I don't know why I shot that. I don't know why I shot that. But with 0.5 seconds left, we still have to get a stop. Jones over to Wimby, and he made it! But we don't know if it counts. Did he get it off in time? Oh, my goodness, man. This will, bro, this regard, oh, my goodness. And you can see he, he literally just barely got it out his hands. We just lost off a of buzzer beater. Victor Wimbayama with the biggest shot of his career. 0.5 seconds left, and we are going to New Orleans for a game six. This has to be one of the greatest NBA Finals games of all time. LaMelo got busy, 37 and 10, but it wasn't enough. Walsh with 22, Butler with 21, but when Wimbanyama goes out there and drops 48, it's like, what can you do? 
but in game six, boy, when I tell you how mad I was when we lost game five, game six, like I literally didn't even, I didn't take a break. Usually I take a break in between when I'm recording these gameplays. Nah, nigga, I didn't waste any time getting into this game. Like, even, like straight after I hopped straight into it, bro. I was pissed, bro. And I took my anger out on these bitch ass Pelicans, bro. We was getting busy. Jimmy Butler knocking down a mid range J, but you see Wimbayama driving, getting foul and one bucket he's getting hyped the pelicans are trying to come back down 3-1 only person to do it in the nba finals is one Legault james but guess what we're trying to not allow that to happen and jimmy butler is definitely not trying to let that happen because you see what he's doing euro stepping oh my goodness look at how he's switching hands in midair so that wimby does not block him now jimmy going off the screen now looking pull up three i told you i'm not playing games today jimmy butler knocking down a three you see we're on a 12-4 run and it's just not gonna stop walsh tween cross behind the back step back ring, ring, and he's gonna knock down a three and he's gonna salute the crowd because you bum ass niggas are going home lamella throws the lob to that boy jimmy butler who has 11 first quarter points you see we are playing dummy fishing foster misses that three and now lamello oh my behind the back oh and then he did it again oh my god i had to do it in slow-mo it was just so damn beautiful it was so beautiful lamello with a play but when Bayama don't think that he's not still out here getting a bucket because he is this nigga is literally averaging like 40 this nigga has to be having the greatest like single-handed finals performance like ever this nigga is averaging at least 40 and 10 it's not even funny james book knight finds gordon hayward and hayward is gonna get the slam dunk you see how we are not playing early lead wimby misses the three and now jimmy butler's got the ball in transition crossing over hop stepping in slamming it with one hand with the right hand jimmy butler the right hand man with the right hand slam uh lamello finds luke Kennard inside the three-point line but it does not matter a bucket is a bucket we are up by 11 now lamello tween behind the back stepping back with the three right on the money green bean lamello only with five points but we are up by 14 and it's because of our defense coming over the screen trying to throw a lot to zion i said fuck no give me that shit lamello's got the ball in transition and look at who's wide open mark williams catches a lob right there and slams it down now the sumu looking Desumu had a great game or at least a great first half because this nigga has 12 points i didn't show any of his house because nigga we cooking like nigga what the fuck this the hornets dynasty not the io Desumu dynasty fuck that nigga mark williams posting him up getting that layup to go with the left hand getting a bucket we're up by 10 now book knight hop stepping looking og and anobi wide open in the corner Bow, and he's gonna knock down the three right there. Now LaMelo finds Walsh off the screen, and Jordan Walsh gonna knock down a three. And now it is an 18 point game. Now Hayward over to Butler. Jimmy Butler hop step in. Look at him switching hands again to avoid getting smacked by Victor Wimbayama. Now LaMelo tried to throw the lob. Didn't work out, but Jordan Walsh gets his hands on the ball. Now Walsh finds Jimmy. Why would you double? Are you dumb? You doubled off of the leading score? You're crazy. Jimmy wide open three. Another loose ball picked up by us. And Jimmy again wide open. Jimmy Butler is not playing games. He wants his ring, and so does LaMelo. Victor Wimby. <laughs> what did I just call this? <laughs> Yo, Jones. Pulls up a three. No good. Wimby with the board and the putback. I called this nigga Victor Wimby, bro. Hell nah. Wimby puts the board back. He's got 21 early in the third quarter. I told you, this nigga is still getting his buckets, but who gives a fuck? Because Jordan Walsh is cooking. Because Jimmy Butler cooking. Book Knight cooking. Hayward cooking. Hayward dunked on a nigga today. I'm not, I'm not losing a game where Gordon Hayward dunked on a nigga. Are you crazy? And Jimmy with a wild and one bucket. And like you see, we are up by 22, and we just going to keep on pouring it on them. Zubak with the layup right there. We did not take losing on our home court. We took that shit personal, nigga. Shout out Michael Jordan. Book nice. Switching hands in midair. This nigga is just so graceful. Went up with the right, but laid it up with the left. Hayward jumping up for the steal. And LaMelo tween tween rap chicken rap behind the back. And throws the alley you to that boy, Jimmy Butler. We are up by 30. And with that, we are the NBA champions. After four years, the Charlotte Hornets are finally on top. We win a chip. 
Jimmy Butler is an NBA champion. LaMelo is a champion. OG is a champion. Blake Griffin is a champion. Rubio is a champion. I'm pretty sure everybody on our team is a first time NBA champion, man. We have finally won after four long years. And with that being said, this is going to be the final episode of the Charlotte Hornets franchise dynasty, man. Look at Blake Griffin. Happy that he's a champion, bro. Man, y'all don't understand how much I appreciate you guys. This series, man, this series is going to be, this series is always going to have a special place in my heart because this was the series where I hit up my first 1,000 subscribers. You guys literally mean the world to me, bro. If you ever like the video, watch the video, subscribe, unsubscribe, I appreciate you. But do not think that I'm just done with the content, bro, because I've got so much more content on the way coming for you guys. Is it going to be different? Absolutely. But I will be. But if I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be better than this. And do not get it fucked up. In 2K24, we will have a new team that we will be trying to rebuild. Bro, you see LaMelo Ball as the finals MVP, man. I literally cannot thank you guys enough for all your support throughout this series man so for one last time for the one time if you like the video then like the video so that i know that you liked it nigga and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we're trying to hit a thousand and fifty subscribers thank you all for all your support during this series because i could not have done any of this without any without each and every single one of you guys i love y'all man and i will see y'all in the next episode peace